Hey, what's up guys? It's Jet Setting on a Budget here, coming through with a video for you. I know it's been a minute, but today we're talking about traveling during COVID-19. So stay tuned for more. Fly to the left, to the left, fly to the right, to the right. Yeah. Praise him all day, you praise him all Come night. What you doing? From the video the airports were pretty empty i actually did two flights in may so one going into lax was just los angeles international airport and the other one going into atlanta so and then from dallas as well all the airports were pretty empty there was like one maybe two restaurants open a little convenience store for people to get takeout and food um, I have to say that TSA did a really good job going through security. They had markers on the floor, making sure everyone stayed six feet apart. They all wore gloves and um, masks on their face. You actually scanned your own boarding pass. Um, they either look at your ID or they would scan your ID if you have the real ID as well. So that was really great. Also, going through security, the little body scanner, I was able to keep on my mask as well as my glove. So that's great. You don't have to touch anything, any of the bands with your bare hands. So definitely recommend that you bring gloves with you. On a side note, if you don't wear socks to the airport or have socks when you go through security, make sure you bring a pair of socks. That ground is definitely nasty with all those people coming through. Do not have your bare feet on the floor in the airport. Bring some socks with you that you can slide in to if you're wearing sandals and then you can take them off after you go through security. So both of these flights, I flew American Airlines. Now let's get into this. Um, they didn't make you scan your own boarding pass when they called your group up there to get on the flight. The first flight I took, they had one of the big jumbo planes as if you were going international so it had three seats on each side and then three seats in the middle i actually had to make a fuss for them to move the person who was in the middle seat there were so many open rows i didn't understand why they were not social distancing on this flight for the life of me and so yeah i caused a whole commotion with the flight attendant and they came and was like okay do you guys want to spread out and move after i did that and they pretty much let everyone move to any open seat that was available. So once that happened, it was social distancing. I didn't have anyone in the middle seat. Now coming back from Atlanta though, they completely and totally oversold that flight. They were offering $400 vouchers for people to switch flights. It was totally unacceptable. They did not follow any of their social distancing procedures or anything that they had advertised. It was totally false, a complete lie. There was somebody in the middle seat. The flight was fully packed. Like every single seat has somebody in there. And so they were trying to get people to change, but people were ready to get to their destination. So just know that, that some airlines are not social distancing. They're not doing what they say they're doing. They did make everyone wear a mask on the flight. And as you know, as of May 11th, it is required. So that did happen. If they seen you without a mask, the flight attendants would come by and ask you to put your mask back on. So that was good, but you know, it didn't make a difference to me because there was still somebody in that middle row. Um, also, I recommend if you're flying a long flight, try to get like the regular paper mask and not the cloth mask. My first flight, I had a cloth mask and I felt like I couldn't breathe after about an hour, but coming back was okay. And I'll put um, some pictures next so you can see the mask that I'm actually talking about. But 
I just wanted to get on here and show you my travel experience. Be aware, these airlines are still being greedy. They're still trying to make their money. They're not social distancing. So it's definitely up to you to take care of yourself if you're going to travel. I had my own sanitizing wipes. When I got on the plane, I wiped out my entire seat. I had a window seat, so I wiped down the window, the wall, the hand uh, handrails. I wiped down the seat belt, everything. So make sure you do that yourself. Also, I had clothes um, that essentially I was going to give to the Goodwill. So they were old clothes. I put those on the fly-in. Once I got to my destination airport, I went in the bathroom change and I threw those clothes in the trash, including the socks. And I put on a fresh set of clothes and went about my way. So that's definitely something else I recommend if you want to make sure that you don't bring the virus with you. Have an old pair of clothes that you don't care about that you can throw away and change into another outfit once you get to your destination. So on that note, most importantly, my tips for you, wear a mask, wear gloves, wipe down your seat with your own sanitizing cloths, um, anything you touch, have a mask on there, Bring a change of clothes that you can change out of. Even if you don't throw away, bring a bag you can put the clothes into and you can wash them later. So those are my recommendations if you are going to be traveling during this COVID-19 time, especially since things are uncertain. Just make sure you protect yourself and take precautions as well. So I'll have some more videos coming up soon since I know a lot of the countries are opening up and I myself am going to be traveling um at the end of August internationally, and I will definitely be sharing that experience with you too. So if you have any tips or tricks, if you have been actually traveling during this time, please make sure you leave them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe below. Until next time.